why he was not here don't really because from the courts of heaven when you're there you see that once long before you're born you chose to be a darling and you laughed at what it would be a proud woman put to milking cows the genius trotting around with the stallion old sword rusted into a turnip knife you laughed and you lay down with your fate like a bride even the miserable fire of it all so that I am proud to be a Dunley. I am proud that my mortar can firm my broader in the forest with the fiddle long before the bishop or the friar could get hold of her. And I wish I would have shared her fate beside her. But oh, would it have been different? I nearly saved her. Three days before they burned her with their cold boy. Because you were tall. You were different. And you weren't afraid. That is why they burned you with their tongues first. And then with their kerosene. I had this dream once. It repeats itself to me like a creed I have learned. I do not know when. I have come up to the farm to visit. Only mortar and fodder are there. The boys are all away. God, because if they aren't there, then they won't have to fight. But if they stay, then they have to fight for their country all their life. There's a train that we have tickets for, and it stops at the crossing near Andy O'Keefe's tavern. We start down the road, but then Mother looks back, and there are the clothes on the line. So we spend five minutes taking them in and start down again, but when we turn back, there they are again. Uh, come, uh, come anyway, mortar. Mortar? Mortar, you're not leaving then. My mortar and fodder would never leave Biddulph. <laughs> 